Do you get intimidated when you're working with an Elton John? Music is where I can hide. Like, you know, music is where I feel the most secure. That's why my voice holds a lot of value to myself and to other people. And um, I've had to kind of work on my relationship with that and find other things that I love about myself, too. Because, you know, you look at other athletes or their whole careers are built on these big muscles, you know. And it's like I've got these two little tiny cords and everything is balanced on top of these little whenever you get scoped and you actually see it. It's really crazy when you see how much force and pressure, you know, everything, my stability in my life is balanced on these tiny little cords and when you look at these other athletes which is what I consider myself to really be and that's why it's just so important that now I've been really training because I, I I learned what happens when you don't train um, and it's just really important to, to take care of these you know things that that is the reason why all of us here have something to do today so it's just it's a lot of pressure it is a lot of pressure, and I know a lot of singers who have lost their voice, literally lost their voice. I had a surgery last November. Um, I was one of the younger artists that had ever had this surgery when I was looking at, you know, the Steven Tyler's on the wall, and I'm like, I'm not here yet. Why do my chords look like Steven Tyler? And, like, I, you know, I'm looking and I'm, like, thinking about, the longevity and sustainability that he's had. And then I'm looking at myself. I'm t I was 26 and I'm still, I'm getting this surgery that six year old touring artists are getting, but I'm feeling really good and I've done the rehabilitation that it takes. So I never want to do that again. So in taking assessment of your vocal cords and your career and having this understanding, is that why you became sober that you said, if I drink, I'm um, fucking my voice up. I'm yeah. making bad decisions. How hard was it for you to get sober? It's the decision making. When I want to do something, I do it. And there's just no mm -hmm. question about it. And so it wasn't as challenging as it can be for a lot of people. For me, drinking hasn't been, that hasn't been my demon. But it does not get me going any further if anything, it just makes me not reach my full potential, which is uh, unacceptable to me. Like, I will not accept anyone or anything that causes me to not reach my fullest potential.